Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and this is 10 Twitch mod commands that you need for your stream right now. Before we get into this, I am going to be mainly talking about stream elements. I might dive in a little bit tonight, but before you click off this video because you're not with stream elements or you don't have that, that chat bot or whatever, two things. This might actually give you some ideas for whatever chat bot you're using right now, or it might make you, you know, kind of make that switch over to this chat bot. These commands that we're about to go over are some commands that are like, oh, you need to know this. Like you got to know this. And then some of these commands are going to be really fun commands that you've never really heard of. Maybe they can really spice up and on your stream so if you're interested in that and stick around for this video if this video is helpful for you I would love to hear about it in the comments down below also if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, we're coming out with more and more videos like this so hopefully we can help you guys out if you have any questions throughout the video you can always find me live on twitch at 10 a.m. Pacific time Monday through Saturday it's in the link down below if you guys want to go and drop a follow and uh, you know if you have any questions or anything so thank you so much we'll head right into the video right now let's go alrighty so our first command of the day is username commands basically what this is whenever you do a, a particular command and then that person's username shows up within that command so for example for me we have one that's exclamation point bow so this one when they type that into the chat it says their username and then joins us in worshiping our cult leader and all this that one was a little bit weird to share uh, without the context, but let's just ignore what it's saying and just focus on the actual command, okay? Stream gets a little weird sometimes, all right? All you've got to do for that is you've got to use this, I guess, code in a way. It's called a variable within stream elements, and I think actually within other chatbots as well, but it's money sign bracket user bracket, okay? So money sign bracket user bracket kind of sounds a little weird it displays the user's display name you can also do that in lowercase uh so all you would have to do is money sign bracket user dot name bracket so you would do for us we did exclamation point bow is the command and then we put that variable and then we put whatever we wanted to say after it so it's pretty simple once you kind of start to figure figure that out uh and it's something you can kind of take your mods through as well or if you're a mod you can t maybe take your streamer through as well so super simple that's that's how you do a username command Let's head to number two. The next one that we have here is a counting command. So basically what this is, is a command, a command that counts something. So say it's the amount of deaths that you have. Yes, I said that deaths because we all die in games, except for me, because I'm pro gamer. So for instance, I have one that I just go exclamation point death and then it counts the deaths. And so people can do that whenever I die in a game helps with engagement and, and people kind of like to, to, to mess with you like that. Basically, what you're going to do for this count command is you're going to do add a new command. You're going to put exclamation point whatever. I have one where it's exclamation point cuss that I just added. So anytime that I cuss on stream, they count it. You know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so basically you go exclamation point cuss. You'll go to the response. I put Nick cuss. And then you're going to put your variable here. So it's money sign bracket count. And then you've got less than sign name greater than sign. And then you put times on stream that's going to just give you a number that counts up every time somebody hits it so if i type now exclamation point cuss it's going to count that up and so people can count how many times i say bad words on stream up next we've got a lurk command now lurk command is literally just like setting up another command but what you might be able to do with this is actually mix our username command with this command right so if we type if we do a new command do exclamation point lurk but our for the response you put your variable money sign bracket user bracket and then that'll get their username in there you'll say so and so is now lurking and twerking or something like that <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whatever you want to say for that last part but it'll put their username in there and it'll, it'll kind of look official so it makes your lurk command look a little bit better and yeah hopefully that helps with your lurk command that's a quick one it's super easy so all right, let's go to the next one. Number four is a repeat command. So basically what you do with this command is whenever somebody types something in chat, it repeats it. For us, you know how people like point up in chat whenever they want to like, yeah, check this out, you know, or yeah, I agree with that. We had stream elements copy that. We thought it was kind of like a little clever thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and make a repeat. You can also do this with like emotes, stuff like that. So let's check it out. So I'm going to show you how we built the one that we did. What you'll do is go exclamation point, you know, point. We just did that. The response is that same thing. You want the response to be what, whatever you want it to say. Okay. So that's very important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced settings. So if you go down below, you'll see command keywords. Now you're going to put basically all the variations that people would type in that you would want it to repeat from so we kind of put like different versions of that and so whenever you have those keywords in now it's going to trigger that command off of those particular things like i said you could also do that with emotes which is what a lot of people do yeah 
Hopefully that helps. Let's go to number five. So number five is a prime sub command. This one's really quick. This is just so that people on mobile can prime sub. If you want that to happen, basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy this link right here where it's subs.twitch.tv slash your name. So that will take people to a page for them to be able to subscribe. You can do that on mobile and use their prime there. So what you want to do is go exclamation point prime as your new command. Then in the response, put, you know, subscribe with Twitch prime here. They'll click on that link. They'll be able to sub on mobile for number six. This is going to be a weather lookup command. Yes, you are going to become everybody's weather person. You're going to become their weather person and it'll be great. Now I'm going to break the rules right here. This is kind of like more like a bonus command because it's not with stream elements. I know I told you I'd be like with stream elements, but this one's on Nightbot and it's really cool. And you might want to just put this one on Nightbot. Okay. And when I figure out how to do it on stream elements, I'll, I'll tell you guys how to do it on stream elements. Okay. But this weather lookup command is really cool because what you do is you type exclamation point weather lookup space and then like this, a certain city or, or a place, right? And then it will tell you the weather there. So how you're gonna do this in Nightbot is you are going to go to commands, custom, add a new command, and then you're gonna say exclamation point weather lookup or exclamation point weather or whatever you wanna put there. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna put this exact variable in. Money sign, parenthesis, weather, money sign, parenthesis, I don't know how to say that word, Q-U-E-R-Y, and then parenthesis, parenthesis. And then that basically will give you a weather lookup. It's pretty dang cool. So if I do in the chat right now, exclamation point weather lookup, you know, Los Angeles, I'm going to get an actual breakdown of what's in Los Angeles, like the weather wise. So that's just a bonus command. I'm sorry I moved over to Nightbot, but we're back on the stream moments. Okay. So let's go to number seven. Number seven is a socials command. And, and this is really, really important for you as a streamer or for your streamer, if you're a mod to grow other socials and diversify across other platforms. And I talk a lot about that and how to grow on Twitch. I'm going to put that card up here, but I talk about and break down how to grow on other platforms and especially YouTube, something like this platform here that you're on with socials command. It's just that you're going to, you're going to post your socials so that people can go and follow you. And you kind of want to plug this pretty consistently and maybe even put it on a timer. So if you add a new command, you're just going to go exclamation point socials, and then list all your socials below with links. Make sure you put space between those links and, and check on that command. Cause it can get a little bit weird sometimes, but make sure that command is kind of uh, all clean and everything like that. So next up on our list here is a shout out command. This is basically so when somebody raids you, you can shout them out quickly and allow people to follow them back. Or, or maybe some one of your friends comes into the chat and you want to shout them out. You can just do like, you know, X point shout out or, or, or SO or whatever it is. So, so basically what you'll do is add a new command. It'll be X point shout out or X point SO. We kind of have both. So we put like a command alias where it'll, it'll change it over by X point shout out. And then your response is going to be this check out. And then here's your variable money sign bracket one bracket at HTT, you know, you got to put the whole like link, uh, twitch.tv slash, and then you're not going to put a space. You're, you're going to, you're going to be put it right up against that, uh, that slash. So you're, then you're going to do money sign bracket channel, money sign bracket one bracket, like close bracket, close bracket. Okay. So just like I have it on the screen right now. So what they have to do now is go, they have to type exclamation point shout out space and then their name. And then once that name is, is in there, it'll fill in all these things. A lot of times people have problems with this because they'll put the at sign before the name and it doesn't work if you do that. Alrighty, the next one is a very important one and, and something that I don't see a lot of people have, but it's something called a welcome command. This welcome command is going to look different for, for you and for other people and, and all kind of stuff. But basically what I did with my welcome command is I, I, I have something called a welcome song where there was one day where I sing this like kind of like show tuny type thing where it welcomed people every time they followed and stuff like that. This welcome command has that clip connected to it and it's just a way to welcome people. So whenever they come into that come into the stream so i'm able to be like hey if you guys are new here you can you can go and watch this video it kind of like gives people a little bit of a feel of like how weird and kind of fun the channel is going to be you're going to do exclamation point welcome add a command that's exclamation point welcome and then put some type of clip or maybe even it's your channel trailer or or whatever it is that will welcome people and make them feel like hey like that's so cool i'm here and i, I feel welcomed it also allows your chat to be able to welcome people in an easy way if they don't really know how to yet the chat so maybe even you could do you could even like use your you the username ones that we've used where you can go like exclamation point welcome and then we welcome so and so to the chat or so you know what i mean or, so, or whatever it is just think about that and, and a welcome command is very very good because you want your community to be an open community that is welcoming to people 
And that's a very easy way for you to do that when you're playing your intense game of COD or whatever it is. We have arrived at the last command. Yes, the last command. Okay, thank you for sticking, sticking around if you made it to this point. I wanna give you a little bit of a nugget of a different way to change your game. So sometimes you don't want your mods to have to go exclamation point game, type out the whole game. Maybe they type the game wrong. You find out four hours later, you've been in the wrong game category the whole time. I actually got this idea from somebody who messaged me on Instagram and wanted to do this. And then I learned how to do it and just told them how to do it, which is pretty cool. What I set up was a command where moderators could type exclamation point chat, right? Right? And then that would change the game to just chatting, right? Or the game category to just chatting. So how I did this was I went exclamation point chat with the command name. Then the response is category changed to money sign bracket set game quotations less than sign just chatting greater than sign quotations close the bracket you can put whatever game you want to put in there i just put just chatting because it was kind of like we go to that quite a bit i also have this for some other games one thing that i realized though is certain games that doesn't grab the right game sometimes like with call of duty i had a problem with that for modern warfare it grabs like modern warfare 3 so you're going to want to make sure it works for your particular game you're going to but you can set these up for for different games that you go to say you're kind of a little bit more of a variety but you play similar types of games it's a little bit easier for your mods to do that than have to type out everything so hopefully you guys found this helpful if you guys want me to do some other chat bots let me know. I would say that Stream Elements really has, uh, you know, things going right now that are that are really, really good. And so I like using them. If you have any questions, always down in the comments below. You can come find me on my Discord, which is in, in the description down below. Also, I answer all DMs on Instagram and Twitter. I'm live Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We're always having a good time on stream. You can always find me over there. I just want to thank everybody for the support on YouTube we've had recently. We just hit a thousand subscribers, which is super cool. And um, yeah, I, it's just it's just amazing. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching the videos and we'll see you next time.